Hello, Galaxy. I'm Chris Perillo, and you've tuned in to another live edition of the Locker Gnome Daily Report, or TLDR for short. Uh, I tried to do a Facebook page name change, and uh, they didn't like it at all. And uh, <laughs> apparently going from Locker Gnome to Chris Perillo Plays was no good. So <laughs> I'm never going to get rid of these old nicknames and handles. So I'm going to do my best to embrace them. Either way, Chris Perillo. Uh, the reason I said Chris Perillo Plays is because I have basically renamed the old Locker Gnome YouTube channel to Chris Perillo Plays, dedicating it specifically to video games and video game play. Uh, when I'm streaming there or uploading there tonight, I'm going to be going on to uh, Twitch after this broadcast for the TLDR After Show, uh, specifically uh, because I want to test a giveaway. It's it's a It'll be a simple thing like, oh, win a shout out in Chris Perillo's Twitter feed. Uh, but I, I want to test it for Wednesday when I do the Intel live stream at 1 p.m. Uh, Pacific. It, because we're going to be giving away Cuphead codes. I've got four Cuphead codes for the Windows Store to give away on Wednesday on Twitch. So i got to test the giveaway bot to see if it works. It's a dry run. Everything's a dry run. Uh, either way, I, I'm, I'm trying to settle into the schedule of evening time, Pacific time, uh, doing live TLDR with you, uh, talking about uh, today's topics, the day's topics as I've experienced them. Uh, interest points of anybody out there, like Purple please, purple Paisley Planner. Thank you for being a member, by the way. I appreciate it. Hopefully you're getting the hang of Discord. Everyone's welcome to join the Discord server. It is public. The uh, best way to find out when I am going live and where, potentially why. I, but I, I, I don't know. I... I, I the more I do it, I mean, this evening was a little more, less chaotic, less, cha okay, less chaotic than normal, but I'm thinking like 7 p.m. Pacific time is a, is a decent time to start a live stream. 6 p.m. is too early. 6.30 is not even enough for me, but 7 p.m., we settle, that, uh, settle into that for TLDR for an hour or so, half hour or so, depending on, you know, what everyone's feeling, and then jumping over to uh, video gaming in the evening after uh, work hours. That's what I'm feeling. Uh, I, I tell you what I'm not feeling. You want to know what I'm... Do you want to know? Do you need to know what I'm not feeling? Uh, give me a second. Um, did something odd get toggled? No. Okay. Just making sure. It's, it's a little nerve-wracking when... Uh, you think you did something wrong when you did everything right? You ever been there? Kind of like Mac OS C uh, Catalina. Uh, thank you for sticking with uh, Purple Paisley Planner. PPP. Uh, so I I downloaded and installed Catalina. The new version of Mac OS uh, came out today. Um, and that's uh, version 10.15. Latest. Greatest is debatable. Uh, hot chocolate. Mmm. It's good stuff. Pixel 4 is coming. When? Good morning, 3D printing with Heath. Uh, well, when the, I tell you what, when the Pixel 4 uh, is announced, the day that the Google does their announcements, I'll probably cover that. Uh, I will definitely be covering my unboxing and subsequent first impressions, potentially a review in TLDR. I'll be doing the same for the iPad Pro, assuming they release one. Uh, have no want, need, or desire to get a new Mac, though. Even if they do um, update the um, the hardware, don't know if I'm feeling it as much. Oh, look at that! Over on, see this follow thing? This is on Mixer. So someone started just following me on Mixer. That little announcement. I don't know if the same announcement happens if someone follows me on Twitch. I think I muted the alert box if that happens. I can't get the YouTube connection to work. Uh, so, for the most part, um, I'm okay with uh, the... Uh, dang, dude. The hardest thing about any uh, Mac upgrade, uh, software upgrade, that is, all the new prompts. Such and such needs your permission. Such and such needs your permission. Such and such wants to access X, Y, and Z. But, um, in terms of snags, I can't say that I've run into any snags, 
apart from one, and it's a pretty big snag, in my estimation. A really big snag. Uh, and I know I'm not the only one, because I, I searched on, on Twitter, and a couple other people were mentioning it early on. I'm sure a few more people are going to complain in time, but OBS, which I'm currently using on Windows right now to broadcast this live stream, is broken right now. It was not happy when I tried to launch it. You can launch it from the command line, but then it was asking for all sorts of weird permissions. Like, some esoteric Linux command, or I guess it would be FreeBSD command, wants permanent access to all your keystrokes. I'm like, uh, what? I'm like, I don't know why it's asking for this, but I'm going to say no. I did not like seeing that permission for sure, so um, I'm not going to be streaming from the Mac anytime soon. <laughs> OBS. Well, actually, no, I take that back. I'm, I use the Elgato streamer. I don't use. I don't always use OBS. OBS is easier with overlays, but for some reason, Elgato hasn't figured out how to do overlays on on Mac OS, which allows me to do fancy things like you know put chat in the actual video. So uh, I haven't dived incredibly deep into Mac OS beyond that. Beyond saying what I, I, I just said. Uh, uh, we've, uh, uh, I've seen. None of my apps were incompatible. Uh, Final Cut Pro 10 was updated, though, uh, to take advantage of Metal, so that that's nice to see acceleration happening with that, finally. You know, after I stopped using it for a few years. Story of my life. So, no, I, I didn't have any apps that were incompatible at all. I was kind of shocked. I mean, I don't, I don't install a lot of apps. I don't, I really don't. I, I'm, I'm, I'm generally clean that way. <clears throat> the one thing that I wanted to try was arcade, and I downloaded one game, and it's, it was, it was fun. Uh, I did on the desktop because I don't think I looked on it. I looked for it on the iPad and didn't see it, but it's called Cricket Through the Ages. It looks like so much fun for Jedi and I to just basically. Hold on to a key. One key, I think, is all you need to play. I think. I, I, I haven't quite figured it all out yet, but that's what it's called. Cricket Through the Ages. It's available, um, well, at least in Apple Arcade, but not on the iPad, on the Mac. So Jedi, I'm pretty sure, is going to want to play that. Anytime anybody says iPhone 11, everybody take a drink. Oh, you sent me to the Cuphead 3D print you made? 3D printing with Heath? You're awesome. Can I just... Can I just call you Heath now? Can we be on a last name basis? <clears throat> two incompatibilities. Which two, Corey? I'm curious. By the way, I'm not ignoring your iPhone 11 question. I'm going to let the rest of the community answer that. Because I... I literally... I will... I will get very angry and frustrated if I have to answer that question every day. I'll let everybody else answer it for me. Doing well, Jeremy. <laughs> I said iPhone 11, so therefore I have to take a break. Oh, I'm on Mixer? Wait, uh, Mishk. Mishk. I'm not streaming on Mixer right now, though. I'm not simulcasting. No, not right now. But thank you. I plan on doing a Mixer stream uh, this week when I, I try to ju juice up the, uh, uh, well, I guess I got to call it the Locker Gnome page on Facebook since I can't call it Chris Perillo Plays. So I'm, I'm going to have to call it, like, Locker Gnome Plays until people get used to it. Or I talk to someone at Facebook. Locker Gnome Perillo Plays? Could I do that? Mm -hmm. um, 2010 Mac Pro not supported with Catalina. Dude, that was like a decade ago! What's the best Mac to buy? Well... I can't give recommendations. I can't. It's it's a part of the job that I have with Intel. I just can't make recommendations. Uh, but um, my recommendation, this is a general recommendation, not a specific hardware recommendation, is uh, think about how you use it, if you like the Mac Pro, and for all the reasons why, and that's going to dictate your decision. In terms of which one, that's completely up to you. There's There's so many variations out there. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking at Catalina, and it's 
It's it's Mac OS. I'm glad iTunes is gone. Wait, is it official? Hang on. Uh, oh wait, it's just music now. Sweet. Wow. I'm not gonna get Apple Music. Although I am debating getting Spotify, because Google uh, Google Play Music and YouTube Music are annoying. And, and I thought YouTube Music was gonna be so much better, but despite paying for it to get no ads on YouTube, YouTube Red or whatever the heck they're calling it, ah, <laughs> uh, it's agitating, quite honestly. Does tagging work for the live chat in the YouTube mobile app? That I don't know. Mac Blu-ray player you got from a Locker Gnome deals. Oh yeah, my Harmony app from Logitech. Oh wow, my Logitech webcam app continued to work. I was I, I was genuinely, genuinely surprised I didn't have one incompatibility. But I really I guess I I'm, I'm running leaner, meaner, and cleaner than I thought. Now uh, Mac OS is full on 64 bit, no 32 bit code allowed. Get out of here. I don't know if I feel any speed difference. Um, it's definitely not more responsive. I can tell you what. Here, here's one thing. Let me. I remember when I said I'm probably not, I'm not going to be upgrading my Max. The one thing that would have me upgrading, one thing, and I'm running on a 2000. This is a 14, mid 2014 MacBook Pro. Uh, it, it's it's amazing. Uh, quad core Intel uh, Core i7, love it. Uh, it's been stable. It's been a rock. The one feature, not USB-C. The one any can anybody? I'll let anybody. I'll let you guys guess. If you know me at all, guess what's the number one feature that would get me to get a new Mac, uh, an iMac on the desktop or a MacBook. G one thing. Just one uno. I do have YouTube TV and it's solid. Christopher Miller, good to see you. Glad you could join. If this time's good for you, you're now Christopher Miller. Look at that. He's a Boba Fett. He's a Boba Fett. That means he's been around for at least a year. He be, boy, you should be like Boba Fetted out the wazoo. Speaking of Boba Fett, I did promise I'd show you some stuff. I did go on a a, a, a spree of sorts, my, my my toy run, to get a few other things. Uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show all of them though, because I, I don't know. Did I show any of them? I think I showed the Galaxy of Adventures figures, but um, I went all the way through the Galaxy Adventures, got the full run, decided to do that, and wait. Um, do I want to open this or wait? Not a touch screen. Well, I'm debating how I want to, how I want to display the, the Darth Vader Galaxy of Adventures box, which I guess I've decided now. Oops. Keeping it in box, but... I don't think you can do any of those... Uh, commands here. No, the number one feature. It's no only one person guessed. Uh, no, high refresh rate, like a promotion display, like 120 FPS or something like that. Yeah. Then you'd see me going. Uh, I'm in. Oh, I'd upgrade in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. Because that that to me is killer. On this PC, being able to push 120 frames per second is amazing. But, but the, the Mac hasn't pushed that heck. Even the iPhone has it. But the iPad has it. That's the feature. That's the killer feature for me. Oh, man. I wish I wouldn't have, like, opened that tape. But, you know, F it. I'll do that. I'll just... I'll, I'll open the tape. But not... I'm not going to take it out of the box. Just yet. I'm gonna wait until my second one arrives. Take it. Sorry. 
I do have those other things to show you that I got on sale. Easier to do down here, folks. Can't You can't really see what I'm doing, but... Eli! Do you care to slag on uh, Mac OS design right now? Care to jump in? I, I guess I don't have too many issues, but I've always been... Uh, I've always felt that Apple, for the most part, stuck the landing with Mac OS. For the most part. Or let me put it this way. I have very, very few issues with Mac OS compared to iOS. And to a certain degree, iPad OS now. Catalina is solid for me, minus uh, the OBS compatibility issue. Uh, but I don't use OBS every day, so it's not horrible. Can we play Cuphead? Yeah, we're probably going to be playing Cuphead uh, after this in the TLDR after show on, on my Twitch channel. Uh, so anyway, there is the Galaxy of Adventure figures I have a feeling might not sell well. Christopher Miller. Wow, thank you for coming in with the Super Chat. Very healthy super chat at that. Glad to be here. Great community. Love the new content and style. Gaming style is good for this channel. Well, the good news is um, I set up youtube.com slash Chris Perillo plays for the gaming stuff. So I'll be uploading uh, my gaming material there. We're live streaming gaming stuff there. So now, Chris, since you super chatted, my, uh, my Twitter account should auto tweet you. I think it'll give you credit, and then it'll use your av your awesome avatar as the uh, as the photo. So depending on how that turns out, we'll see. Uh, which Mac model am I using? It's old. It's like a 2014 Core i7, Intel Core i7. Yeah, I mean it's a champ. It runs like a champ. My estimation. I'm telling you, ProMotion would be killer. And see, I'm telling you, even more so, even more so now, now that I'm using a PC with Windows 10, running 120 uh, frames per second, 120 hertz refresh rate, thanks to the Intel Graphics Command Center toggle. Thank you, Intel Graphics. Not just saying that because I work with y'all. Uh, it's true. It's solid. Rock solid. Um, and we're always looking for feedback. The... Uh, uh, Running 120 frames per second is awesome. Seeing, like, the OnePlus 7T run 90 frames per second is nice. If I start using the Pixel at 90 frames per second, 90 hertz, which, let's face it, it's always going to be that. I'm not going to worry about saving battery life. Um, if that, oh, man, I I don't think I can use the graph. I don't think I can embed the graphic anymore. I'm looking at, Chris, I lo I'm looking at your tweet. I mean... If it wasn't blown up, the icon would be awesome. But because it got blown up in uh, on TweetDeck and on Twitter, <laughs> I shouldn't do that. I need to, I need to come up with a different way of, of, of auto tweeting or just not attaching a graphic. Um, so pushing a high frame rate, ProMotion on the iPad Pro, uh, 90 frames per second on the Pixel 4 when that comes in. Uh, it's gonna, A, it already makes the iPhone 11 not as shiny of an object to me, personally. And it also kind of waters down my experience with Mac OS. Uh, so I would love to see a ProMotion display. High, frames, uh, high frame rate. That's what I would love to see. That would push me overboard. Uh, Eli says, well, thank God they didn't touch Mac OS too much, see? In the flattening of the previous version, I hear from devs that the new Catalyst Marzipan apps will be dangerously bad. No Mac customization, straight iOS. Yeah, for the most part. But this is the cost, this is the price that Apple's paying. And I think it's unfortunate from that aspect. But they're paying that price because there are more iOS developers than there are Mac developers developing apps for the Mac. So if they can make it easy to not eliminate the user experience of Mac OS... But to bring more apps into the ecosystem, I, I I guess I err on the side of, I think that's an okay decision to make. Um, I launched uh, what I think is one of those apps, the, the news app, not that I use it all that often, because I really don't. Um, I think this is the first time I've ever launched it, like, on this computer, period. Uh, it It's... 
everything I might want a news app to be. And, and I mean that I can think of the 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 worst part about it is, like I said, it, it just becomes really apparent when you like click an animation and it's not as smooth as it could be. So, what is that? Is that the app? Is it the, the the limited frame rate to 60 frames per second? I don't know. I can't... I, I'm not going to use it on a regular basis. I, I usually use just web apps straight up. But that to me is the, uh, the, the, the bigger concern. Not everybody, you know, thinks that way, obviously, but... Um, Neville Little Johns! Neville Little Johns! Cheers! Clink! Uh, Neville, I hope you're in our Discord server. Hope to see you there. Or again, if you were at one point. And we got a new member, Roland Schumacher. Roland, I know. Oh, I love this song. I love this song. Hang on, let me get the, the title for you. It was streamed on a mixer. Dragon's Fire by Pop Sky. Uh, so welcome, Roland. Thank you for joining the Discord server. Eli says, and I, I'm telling you, there are very few people that I think understand design as well as Eli does. We always saw eye to eye. On, we may not see eye to eye on everything, I, 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 but no human does. But as far as Apple and iOS, yeah, I, I think we, 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 that's a fist bump. That's that's not butting heads, or maybe it is. Uh, he says, it'd be fine, assuming they provided good documentation, but the execs don't care to allocate resources to that, let alone you mentioned the emulation constraints. You know, it's, it's, it's that fine line of they're going to juice the ecosystem, which is, is long overdue. The thing that I would want to see is, is more of a, the way that Google Play is doing it with the apps. What is it called? Google Play, you know where you can buy into the for five dollars a month get apps as a part of it i think beyond apple arcade i think apple needs to do the same thing but it needs to have the apps in there to buy into oh i i totally be on board with that um and i know the developers are frustrated i saw marco arment really frustrated specifically with ios 13 not necessarily catalina um to me it's it's a balance that i hope brings more apps into the ecosystem and here's why number one because we get more to use potentially good apps usable apps uh done well uh so that increases the value of the platform but if we get more that means apple may pay more attention to it or there's a greater chance that apple would be paying more attention to it theoretically i i have to change that trigger because the embedding of the the avatar just doesn't work. No one's told me it, it looked that bad. It looks bad. Oops. No, I really meant to type that. Darn you, autocorrect! Oh, I guess I haven't signed in on this account. Have I done it on this one? I probably have to do this upstairs. Yeah, I gotta do it upstairs. I'm not going to go through the rigmarole and logging in. Yeah, that's an old one. Oh, you've been busy? Chris, I hear you. Just trying to work in a, a time to stream on a, on a nightly basis. 7 o'clock 7 o'clock Pacific, I, I feel, is the right time. I feel. Talking about any, you know, whatever, uh, whatever topic. Catalina is, of course, the hot topic today for Mac users. It's, it's a perfunctory upgrade. Uh, do I recommend it? Yeah, I have, I've had no issue apart from software compatibility, which should be addressed pretty quickly. There are a lot of Mac OBS users. Um, Apple definitely had a prolonged beta period. Generally speaking, Mac OS has been a lot more stable with final releases than iOS. And it's free. Gotta love that. Free upgrade. Boy, everyone's becoming a member there. I'll have to, I, I will change. Do not be as embarrassed as I am. Oh, although Roland's thumbnail looks a heck of a lot better. 
I mean, I think it was just the way it was uploaded to YouTube. Do you have any other questions about me and Catalina? Because I really... I don't even know what's new. I think it, here, there's a tour. Oh, that's nice. And notifications now. There's a toggle for night shift. That's nice. I like that. But I thought I saw, like, a tour. Let me see if I can search for it. Tour? It, like, notified me before I, like, went, uh, live, and I was like, oh, I'll get to it later. Now it's apparently... Uh, here, what's new in Catalina? There we go, I'm binging it. So, of course, music, you know, iTunes decoupling, TV, eh, eh. There's a kid section. Why would I mean like? Why would I let J Jedi, a five-year-old, touch my Mac? No podcast app. Okay. Media syncing. Uh, okay. I guess that makes sense. The problem is, is I've got like 13 different services, and they don't all sync properly. Photos app did get an update. I don't really use the Photos app though, so. Uh, so far, I'm like. Eh. Does it remind you of iOS 7? Does it remind me? No. Not even close. Not even- Dude, come on! Come on! Nothing came even close. Uh, Marconi... I'm scrolling back here a bit. What do you think about the frame dropper iOS 13 home screen and notification center? Uh, well, since you're asking, um... I can't even swipe sideways on my springboard without seeing frame drops. Uh, it's less dramatic on an iPhone 11, um, but I can't tell if it's just a lack of software optimization or what, or a limitation in frame rate. So I was talking about like a 90 frame per second or a ProMotion display on an iPhone. I think that would be a, a, an absolutely killer feature. Killer feature. Rye Guy, blast from the past. Did that guy really break that? You're gonna, you're gonna. Really? I swear. It's it's it happened like it was it, it happened yesterday. As a matter of fact. Ah <laughs> uh, yeah, I remember. Um, notes got an update. Oh, I don't. Oh, actually, that might be kind of nice. I do use notes. Gallery view, new checklist options, shared folders. Still has that skeuomorphic background, though, for some reason. More powerful search, nice. Reminders, again, an app that I don't really use. Safari! Although Safari's, like, abstracted from Catalina. Mail, I don't use. Uh, sidecar, finally, a feature there. Hey, you know if it's stable, and it's clean, and it's quote-unquote better? I think the biggest feature, honestly, is, is booting out the 32-bit... Uh, support. That's to me, that's a killer feature for a lot of different reasons. Sidecar extended desktop. So I haven't tried this yet. You can you can either connect your iPad to your Mac wired or wirelessly. I'll, I'll, I'll have to try that. I don't know if I I need it though. I've never really like looked at my screen and go, gone with an iMac saying, I need a second screen. Today. Gestures, I don't have a touch bar. Continuity markup and sketch. Write and sketch on PDFs with the Apple Pencil, which I don't have. This, this song sounds like a, a Nintendo game. Screen time, I, no, I'm not gonna use that. 
Find My has been updated, okay. Approved with Apple Watch, a gadget I don't have. Accessibility, nice feature list there. QuickTime Player. PIP. Transparent video support? I didn't even know transparent videos were possible. Home, again, an app I don't use. International features, uh, okay, well, that's important. Uh, so, yeah, that's... <laughs> that's it, in a nutshell. That's Catalina. Catalina! See, Apple should hire me, and I'll just do the commercial. Catalina! They shouldn't hire me for that. Uh, Finder seems... Basic. Fine, normal. Nothing's changed at all. Which isn't... It's not a bad thing. Tell you what, I prefer the Finder to the Windows Explorer. Oh my god, talk about visual overload. The Windows Explorer, I'm like... Something to be said about the power of simplicity. Kyle Hedinger, I am the original IRL. I am. Doesn't do me a whole lot of good. How far did that get me? Eh, you know, sometimes I, the story of my life is being too far ahead of the curve sometimes. Uh, got this, it was a part of a party kit. It was going to be a busted uh, run for um, a Walmart looking for the gold figures. This is a part of a, a party kit. Oh, look at that. That's a better. You can see the green fringe there. Um, probably because it's partially translucent around the edges. But uh, tracing, right? X-Wing, Millennium Falcon, TIE Fighter, a star or sun, and the uh, the rebels. Here, let's, there you go. Wait, wait that way yeah yeah uh, pretty cool That's kinda neat. here's what I got the other day this was on my force Friday not officially force Friday stuff uh, glow-in-the-dark pens half price books also uh, half price books often has Star Wars stuff like this so this might have sold for ten dollars I got it for like three which is pretty cool. I got an extra set, too. And I got these. Uh, it's a pen set. Two different colors. One has the em Imperial insignia on it. The Empire. And the other one has the Jedi symbol on it. This was $3.99. A Star Wars pins. Again, that probably retailed for $15. And this is awesome, too. A multicolored Stormtrooper pen. I thought this was fun. Like, you literally have every color of the rainbow on there. Every color. You can't see this one because it's green and it's chroma keyed out. <laughs> but it's green right there. That's not black. You got a little Star Wars comic on the bottom, Stormtrooper on top. Click, click, click. Um, I think I have too many uh, Star Wars writing instruments. That's what I say. And then I also got this because it had Darth Vader on it. I'm a sucker for anything with Darth Vader on it. How to draw your favorite characters, including Chewbacca, Yoda, and Darth Vader. I need to improve my Darth Vader drawings, that's for sure. And then inside, there's Darth Vader. Some green crayons that you cannot see. <laughs> uh, just a regular old pencil sharpener and, a, and an R2-D2 eraser. Although, oddly, you know, with the Darth Vader brain... Well, I guess I understand why they put R2 on it. It's not just a Dar How to Draw Darth Vader book. But uh, eight dollars originally retailed for like twenty, as you can see here, original price. Pretty cool. Yes, yeah, you know what I'm saying, Airwolf. You, sometimes you got to get like more than one, especially at a good price, and then they dry up. So like anytime I see something like that, I usually grab like five or six because they're cheap. Locker Gnome rules. Thank you, Christopher. Although, no one really knows Locker Gnome anymore, except for Facebook. Facebook doesn't want me to get rid of that for the page. What's Apple's future now? Better system requirements or better design and specs? Anybody's guess? 
But like I was mentioning earlier with Eli, who's probably, you know, got bored silly five minutes into this. Um, I think Apple's making the right move with the, the apps. A perfect move, no. But bringing more stable apps, clean apps, well thought out apps into the Mac OS ecosystem from iPad and iOS vicariously, I think is a boon. I really do. And, and this is coming from someone who uses an iPad daily or near daily. I don't use an iPhone, like, unless you, like, force me to. <laughs> There's a difference. There is a big difference between the iPad and the iPhone. Big. The major difference being the ProMotion display. Second difference being uh, the, the quality of the software uh, in, in its uh, execution. Not perfect. But bringing more of that experience to macOS makes a lot more sense than turning macOS into an iPad or forcing it to be stuck with the usability um, snag. I, I, I don't really ever want to see macOS go touchscreen, personally. I think iPadOS is fine for that. I think the way they're blending the two seems to be the right direction. What do I think of... Apple come up with Catalina's from Catalina's Island from Catalina Island do I think Apple came up I'm not sure I understand the question it this is not a new chair I'm in my Intel micro studio this is where I focus on my work for Intel this way so this is a work chair it's a very serious chair this is not a gaming chair. I should move the chat up so it looks like I'm looking at you rather than... There we go. No, no, no. Is that better? So now it looks like I'm looking at you, although a little off from you. Oh, well. Ben, good to see you. Thank you, Christopher. Appreciate the support. You know, if you just jump in for like three minutes, I'm thrilled. True story, true story. Any other Catalina questions before I look at the uh, the day's news? The news. Now, of course, now I'm not going to be looking at you. All right, let me drag my browser over here. There you go. Does it look like I'm looking straight into your soul right now? You missed my vlog. No need. Jump over to the Discord server. It's open. It's free. It's public. The link is in the video's description. If you look there, uh, you will see... A vlog stream channel. The vlog stream channel is where a lot of the vloggy style content uh, you can find. Uh, like when Diana goes live with Jedi. Hey Tim, good to see you. And you also have a Boba Fett icon, which means you've been a member for a year. Appreciate the support. Uh, you also, as a member, get special privileges in the public di Discord server. So jump in. Have fun there as well. Thank you for, thank you for sticking with me. Um, oh, you have no soul? <laughs> there you go. Uh, so there's the, the vlog stuff. Is That's probably where it's it, most of it is going to go. In fact, I put a picture in there a couple of days ago of Jedi. It wasn't really, a, it wasn't a vlog. It was just a picture of her painting. We made little uh, crafts from cookie cutters, and I let her just, you know, just paint whatever you want. And she painted like nine of them. It's pretty cool. Intel Core i9. I need one. Need so, like, if, if they ask me, hey, Chris, should we do a custom build? I'm like, yeah, let's put a Core i9 Core i9 in there. Intel Core i9, baby. Not that this is, I mean, I'm the stream I'm running is obviously more than sufficient on this machine. I'm only at, like, 10% CPU. Yay, Intel. Woo! I am biased. I am biased. I know, I'm biased. I'm biased. Uh, oh, Ben, you're right. The, the picture, the video, you're, you're correct. The video right above, uh, I hesitate to show you a bit of my desktop because I'm not exactly sure how to pull that off. But let me, uh, let me turn this down. And I'll show you, I'll, I'll have you listen to what I mean. I'm pretty sure this was the live video. You just click to it, from, click on it from the that Discord channel. That's Jedi. Everybody, welcome to the craft corner with Jedi Toro. We were having fun. 
So uh, that's the best way to discover our new vloggy type of content, because Diana's doing them live. And you can follow her on social, but sometimes you won't get notifications. Periscope's probably the best way, but I'm I'm pushing that video specifically into the uh, the vlog stream channel on the Discord server. So anyway, that's that's where you can find the vloggy kind of content. How is it working for Intel? Oh, it's rock solid. It's it, I on, I'm on my own Odyssey. I mean, I really Intel Graphics is doing some really interesting stuff, especially with software. And you know me, I'm a software guy. Speaking of, um, as we've teased in the uh, on the Twitter account, uh, we're going to be doing giveaways there as well, like game code giveaways. And uh, we gave away Cuphead codes last Wednesday. This Wednesday, I've got four more Cuphead codes for the Windows Store to give away on the Intel uh, uh, live stream. And you know it's an Intel stream for me because you see a little Intel logo at the top, a little bug, a little logo. Uh, hang on, let me let me bring that music back up because it's just it's just better. I'm better with music. Ian Bennett. Thank you for stopping by, and also thank you for favoriting and retweeting. I notice those things. A lot of people don't think I notice those things. I do. It's the small things, really. It's the it's the tiny, minuscule things. Uh, a lot of people advancing on the Discord server. That's nice to see. Uh, we uh, we've got a leaderboard. Chirag is currently at number six. He couldn't make it. He said tonight. I'm number one because I type a lot. Hello. I really want somebody else to surpass me, though. Who's number two right now? Hang on. You type bang levels. And then the Me6 uh, bot. Mr. Me6. Hi, Mr. Me6. Look at me. I have not yet watched... Oh, Airwolf. Airwolf, you're number two. At level seven. Then Ice TV, Jeff. Shrog's at four. Ben is at 5. Star Wars Banter's at 5. Star Wars Banter and I are totally ruling the Star Wars Radar channel on Discord. I downloaded, or I basically uploaded all the photos that Hasbro sent. And so I uploaded them all into the, the, the server for high-res images. Oh, beautiful. So many new exclusives. Um... Yeah, Airwolf, you ask about the Star Wars coloring book for adults. I have it. Oh, wait. No, I don't have that one. Sorry, I, d I don't have that one. Ooh, that's not a bad price. $7.95? Is that's, that's, old, that's an older one. No, 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 dude. That's not right. That That's a kid's book. That's a kid's coloring book. That's Bendon. That's the wrong thumbnail for, for what it is, I think. I don't think it's not a coloring book for adults. For kid adults, maybe, but you, know, you never know. Airwolf, you've been great. You were uh, very helpful in the tech support channel, uh, typically talking tech. I love that because I, I definitely can't pay attention to everything. Although I go on record by saying my favorite Discord channel is the dad jokes. That's, I'm sorry, I'm just going to say it. A duck. This is from Lon Lon Milk Lover. A duck walks into an apothecary and says, Give me some chapstick and put it on my bill. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> uh, it's the it's the simple things that that wins me over. That's it's that's what it is. Uh if I missed anything, I apologize. Hopefully I'm not buffering. I'm seeing a green signal on my end. I agree, Jedi's cute. Why is why is uh Diane hasn't streamed? Lately, she's well. I guess because they're out playing right now, and usually she streams when they're playing, but I guess not right now. TLDR used to be your go-to for tech news, so I lost touch with Locker Gnome, went on a hiatus. Oh, oh man, I'm sorry. Uh, I will go through the tech news now that we are 45 minutes into the broadcast. Catalina kind of sucked the air out of the room, though, and not in a bad way. Oh, the dogs are doing well. Older, of course. Wicked ignores you. Of course, he ignored you when he could hear. Pixie can't hear. You saw an exclusive Star Wars gold coin set of three at the Disney Store, John says. Yeah, I did as well. But 40, $49 for three coins? Uh, 
I'm I'm not a, that much of a coin collector. I would have picked up the one with Darth Vader, Jabba, and the Stormtrooper. I did go to the Disney store today. I did. I didn't bring the stuff down with me to show you, though. Because I had a coupon. $25 off a $50 purchase. So I got the figurine set. Okay, fine. I'll show you guys tomorrow what I got at the Disney store. Uh, but I did not get the coins. I did find this on my toy uh, toy run this weekend. Um, 720 released, or re-released, I should say, uh, this Darth Vader. I'd seen this Darth Vader before. In fact, I may have him upstairs. But this one came with a coin in this nice box. Ten bucks. Walmart, uh, I don't know if this was an exclusive. But, yeah, I grabbed it. I'm like, yeah. Ten bucks? That was an easy win. Easy win for me. Um... I flipped for Darth Vader. But beyond that, it's like 49 bucks. Uh, um, eh, I don't know. Sorry if I skip anybody's question. Not intentional. I'm scrolling back. I'm trying to get to the tech news. Hi, Chris. Just joined. Thank you, Jutunob. Jutube? Jutube. YouTube! Uh, yeah, I get it. That's pretty funny. Uh, thank you for following, turning on notifications for the live video, as well as joining the Discord server. It is public and free and open. Um, what do you expect to see this coming year? We're talking about tech? I have no idea. Do you have any wishes, got to haves, regards from a Dutch fan? Um, so, any wishes or got to haves? I want to get the $400... Star Wars edition with the Sith insignia Bose headphones. Just because it's Star Wars. Because I'm not going to buy that. Alright, no way. I can't justify it. I could not come close to justifying that price. Me. Personally for that. Um, I'm not a gadget guy. So I always look forward to like operating system updates. So yay, Catalina! It works! Woo! Um, iPad OS 13. Better than 12 on the iPad. Um... Android 10, yeah, uh, solid. Can't wait for the Pixel 4. That's a that that's on my list. Uh, and then of course the next uh, iPad I'll, I'll probably getting as well because I use it uh, just about every day. I'm boring when it. And then honestly, Star Wars gadgets are great. I won't pay top dollar for them though. I'll wait until they inevitably go on sale or I get one on a review unit. Um, I'm very grateful though that uh, Bradford Exchange has been sending uh, quite a few things along to look at, to review. Uh, they have some higher-end gadgetry, uh, household like accessories and products. Shout out to them. John Kirby asked, did you buy the Star Wars coin set at the Disney store? No, but I did buy the Star Wars coin set last year from Zavi. There's a new one this year that's all gold or gold-plated, not real gold, I don't think, but like way more expensive. I'm like, ah, maybe when it's at a steep discount, I ended up getting last year's coin set for like 25 bucks, which was amazing. Like, that's like a dollar per coin for Star Wars merch. Crazy. Crazy. Hey, Dennis. It is great to see. See, we just moved the conversation from Discord briefly over to YouTube. And then after this, to Twitch for the TLDR after show. And then I'll upload any any good video segment from that up to the... Uh, the uh, the the Chris Perillo plays channel on YouTube, YouTube. <laughs> OG know me in the flesh. Yeah, a few of you guys were, and I appreciate it. Like I said, you know, I was I was trying this stuff. You remember, Nomi's was before Patreon. Years, by years. Uh, John Kirby, okay, 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 give me a second. Um, let me look very briefly in the tech news. I know I should be paying more attention to the people who are watching live, but let me make sure I'm not missing anything. I think Catalina was pretty much it on my radar. Oh, Google Photos is releasing their Colorize feature for old black and white photos. That sounds really neat. I'd like to try it on some old uh, family photos. No, I did not say, hey, Google. Or OK Google or whatever. No, I just... No, no, ignore that. Scrolling check news quick.
Oh, PS4 uh, controller support, of course, in iOS, but uh, PS uh, PlayStation's updating their app to work on a variety of Android devices now. Not just Xperia. I thought that was kind of neat. Although I'm trying to just use a Microsoft, getting used to the Microsoft controller. I'm trying. And obviously it's working in Cuphead, so that way I can, like, connect it to a Mac and play some Apple Arcade games or, you know, the iOS and play wirelessly with that. And PlayStation uh, version 7 coming down the pike, the, the their platform. But I don't, I don't use the PS4 that much anymore. I'm not... Allegedly, the October Android 10 patch is out, but it is yet to get pushed to my phone. Instagram's got a dark mode. I, I is Okay, I guess that's news. Instagram also hid follower count and other metrics. All right, this, there's not much There's not much else here. Okay, back to the questions. It's good to see you're excited about a lot of stuff, but mostly Star Wars. Thanks for reading and answering the question. No problem. Oh, wait, that jumped all the way to the bottom. Hang on. Thoughts on the possibility of Apple bundling Apple Music and Apple TV Plus together? They're trying. I don't think that would win me over. I haven't seen anything on Apple TV that's going that's got me going, oh yeah, I gotta get that. Or Apple Music, I'm like, yeah. I guess. But in terms of how we listen to things, I mean, usually Jedi is just looking on YouTube. So if we're going to spend the money, it's going to be on YouTube. I have thought, that said, I have thought about uh, picking up uh, a Spotify account. I just don't. I don't know. I'm like, can I justify spending the money if I don't need it? Like, do I really listen to music that much? Eh. I don't know. I just don't see YouTube Music improving anytime soon. What is Spotify? How much does that cost anyway? I mean, I know you can do it for free. Premium. See, family's 15 bucks. That's way too much every month for for this. No way. We I can't I could not justify that. See, $10 a month. That's like a Star Wars figure, man. That I don't need to spend the $10. I don't know if it's worth the Star Wars figure a month for how much I listen to music and how I listen to music. But it would just make it so much easier <laughs> than dealing with YouTube music. What are they thinking? YouTube TV is amazing. YouTube Music is a app. My opinion, everything's my opinion, personal opinion, not the opinion of my employer. FYI. When am I playing Puyo Puyo again? At, well, I tell you when. When I know I'm not going to get my clock cleaned by people who live all around the world. That's when. Discord does have a dark mode. It's darkish. It's a little bit blue on Android uh, and iOS compared to like the desktop. I can't see because I got my MacBook screen open. I can just shut it because I'm not using it. Oh, thank you from Brazil, Claudio. Thank you for subscribing, liking, being notified, joining Discord. I just need a... There needs to be, like, a litany of that. Thank you for all that. Click all the buttons. Click all the links. Spotify Family's worth $4 here, but has more limited music library. Oh. See, I do $4 a month for music. That's the thing, is, like, I, it, just, it just never goes down below 10 And because we're... That's the thing. We're already paying for accessing music libraries. But YouTube or, or but Google has been in the process of trying to kill Google Play Music in exchange for YouTube Music, and they say they're they're going to do that and bring all the features over. But it's taken them so long, and what I see right now is like they're not anywhere near it, and they're already going to start sunsetting Google Play Music. I'm like, okay, it's not ready to be sunset. I wish it would be because I hate vacillating between the two, but I have to, because like there's certain things that I can play on Google Play Music that I can't on. YouTube music, and there's certain things I can do in Google Play that I can't, that means, I just want one app. 
I just want one app. When I want to listen to my music, uh, so, some music. That's it. And I don't want to overpay. I'm big into not overpaying. Now, when it comes to Star Wars, I will overpay. No doubt. When it comes to software services, I'm not going to overpay. Hey, Space Raptors. Live chat seems more active now. It's possible. It could be the time of day that I started streaming. There's so many variables, different variables. I'm, like I said, I'm still trying to find the sweet spot. And 6.30 p.m. may end up being that sweet spot for everybody. 